Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Um, today we're going to be looking at quadratic proportionality. Um, you're familiar with this from math class. It looks something like this. Sorry for the selfie, but you know, it's the way to go right now, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, um, so we can see that as one thing changes, the other thing changes as the square of the first thing. Okay? The first and perhaps most obvious example of this is uh, what we can see by looking at area. We have a square with a certain amount of length on each side. If we double that length, well then we are going to make the area four times bigger, which is two squared. Or if we triple that length, then we are going to make the area nine times bigger. Okay, that's a quadratic relationship as we can see here. The second example you can see is closely related. Um, if we use the squares here, my camera is currently uh, four inches from the board. If I double the distance from the board to eight inches, you'll see that we have twice, the, the camera can take a picture of twice, of four times as much area. We've doubled the distance, and so we're getting four times as much area. Uh, now, do notice, of course, that uh, it's not a square uh, camera, and so we're looking at part of the screen here. Okay, so but if I triple it, if I go out to 12, then we'll see that we have got nine times as much uh, area into our camera. Okay, so you can see how uh, things can change, especially as related to area, perhaps things expanding into three dimensions. I'll let you think about that. Uh, but what kind of graph do we get from this? Well, if we have, most of you are familiar from math, if we have an equation like this, we get a parabola. Yes, that's right. You've seen the parabolas drawn for each of the two examples that we've already given. So um, good luck and enjoy quadratic proportions.